Hi guys, it's Jacob from StringBuzz here, StringBuzzWorld.org being a music journalism site, links are in the description down below. And we have a brand new song review for you today, and it's the latest by Nari and Milani featuring Tava, I think I pronounced that alright, and that's Twilight. I'm going to refer to the original article as I usually do for these videos, so I hope you enjoy. So well, 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 we are back again here with another track released under the Spinning Records label slash brand slash whatever you want to call it. Will it live up to that twisted reputation it has now, or is it going to genuinely genuinely pleasantly surprised me, so should we see what I thought of it? Well, I actually saw a great comment which summed up this song perfectly. It sounds like my first song on the FL Studio demo, and by god this kid is onto something. This track sucks, but not in your most conventional of ways. It's not irritating, it's not annoying, nothing sounds horrific or grating, and it's more just a song that isn't a song. It's an idea, a collection of samples, uh, an unfinished project. It just repeats the same four bars for three and a half minutes with little to no change. When I moan about the lack of variation, I usually mean that we don't have very many different progressions or dynamics or anything like that, but this song lacks almost everything after the first few bars. It literally doesn't change once, and it's almost baffling. Production-wise, I will say that this song sounds fairly well put together. I'm not against the preset bass sound, and I've heard much worse this week. I also thought the vocal samples fit into the mix well, and that's what makes this song even more weird. It's incomplete. It's like a preset song that comes with every DAW, yet it's well mixed and sounds nice as well. It's it's like the song was accidentally released and was an idea years ago but was never completed or touched again. It's honestly the weirdest track you'll hear this month and there's no glaring reasons as to why it's weird other than it just being incomplete. When it comes to the musicality of this track, well, I would think I'd only be repeating myself here. We have four bars of this straight 4-4 house beat and slightly distorted bass and then it just repeats over and over and over again. Nothing changes, not one thing, we don't have a chorus, we don't have a verse, we don't even have a bridge. We just have a section that is droning and constant. I mean, when I first listened to this track I thought we were set up for some progressive slow moving house that builds and builds like what you typically expect of the genre but this doesn't build at all or happen at all and rather just ends at just three minutes. It's just so strange, so very very strange. All in all, I'm kind of at a loss really. I don't really know how these guys landed on this label and yet again it proves to me that spinning records have no quality control or monitoring. You could literally be signed to them, put out Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and some synth and it will be a big budget release which they will release to all platforms and, and promote it in that way as well. It's, it's very strange, very very odd that this song was even given the light of day. So I gave it a G rating of a... Uh, I don't really know what to give it, actually, because it's not a song, so what rating can I give it? What song rating can I give it? I mean, because it's not a song, is that technically the first ever 0 out of 10? Or... <laughs> yeah, I guess it is. So uh, if you like this video, then please leave a like, subscribe to see more, and I'll see you around next time. Bye bye